Area liberal Josh Harder and Nancy Pelosi. Seems fun, right? Just two people cruising top down, letting the cash fly. It feels like a cheery road trip with cartoon characters, um, but it's intent. The, the intent is to be mocking, obviously. This attack out on Josh Harder isn't brought to you by a political action committee. It's approved by the man he's trying to beat. I'm Jeff Denham, and I approve this message. So what is Congressman Denham claiming in this ad? Director of the Project for an Informed Electorate and Professor at Sacramento State Kim Nalder, as well as Professors Danielle Jostin Martin and Christopher Towler, will help us check the claims. Here's the first one. Bay Area liberal Josh Harder and Nancy Pelosi have millions in San Francisco campaign cash, and they're heading to the Valley. Josh Harder uh, had a recent career that was Bay Area based, but he did grow up in the district. And so it's not really accurate to call himself or to call him someone from the Bay Area. Harder actually grew up in Turlock and his great great grandfather was a Central Valley farmer. So let's call this claim misleading. What about the idea they're heading to the Central Valley with millions in San Francisco campaign cash? His money has been raised from all sorts of sources, including out of state sources. Uh, it's not sort of, you know, a cabal of San Franciscans donating to his campaign. And we took a look at Harder's campaign records. The Federal Election Commission shows he's raised more than $7 million overall. Within those records, we searched for donations from the city of San Francisco and found less than a million dollars. So this claim, misleading. And Here's the ad's next the line. Valley. Pelosi knows Harder would make her speaker and support her liberal agenda. Let's look at this in two parts. First, the idea that Harder would make Pelosi Speaker of the House. This is far from a guarantee, and I haven't seen anything that necessarily has Harder specifically staking this claim. Call this mostly false. Now the second part, if Harder wins, how likely is he to support her so-called liberal agenda? Some of the position statements he's made during the campaign are indeed fairly liberal, so I think it, it is fairly accurate for voters to understand that if they vote for him, they'll get somewhat liberal votes out of him. This part of the claim, kind of true. The drive to the Central Valley continues with this claim. 32 trillion for government health care. So, does Harder support government health care? Harder is for Medicare for all. So, true on that, but what about that 32 trillion dollars? Where did that number come from? So the estimate here with this 32 trillion seems to be coming from estimates for plans for Medicare for all. But again, it's really difficult to determine how much Medicare for all would actually cost. There are estimates that it would be in the trillions, but a lot of it would depend on a final bill and negotiations and details would have to be worked out before we actually had any sort of bill with an estimate. So this gets a rating of misleading. Here's what the ad claims next. Abortions in the ninth month. This appears to be a response to Harder's response to a question that he was asked at a small gathering. That small gathering happened in July 2017, and the video of what Harder said has been prominent in other attack ads. Watch for yourself. Pro choice full by terms? Yes. No exceptions. No exceptions. So, does Harder really support abortions in the ninth month? He says that he misunderstood the question when he, he, he was sort of wanting to vo voice support for abortion rights in general. Um, and his statements afterwards clarify that he means in accordance with current law, which does not allow, you know, ninth month abortions. Our fact checkers rate this claim mostly false. Here's the ad's final claim. Higher taxes. So, will Harder raise taxes? Just because he is against um, cutting taxes for the wealthy does not necessarily mean that he is for higher taxes. And certainly no candidate is going to run saying they're going to increase taxes. This claim, mostly false. We're just days away from the midterm elections and politicians know this race could impact control of Congress. Given all we've heard about Harder, how accurate are the claims made by his opponent? Here's the final verdict from our team. I would say that this ad is overall misleading. Overall, I'd say it's mostly false. Overall for this ad, I would rank it mostly false. 